everybody. Um, we are going to start new series of videos. It's called Wagyu at Home. And today we have a Fiona. Hello. And she's one of our customers. She loves cooking. And from today, she's going to show us how to cook amazing food with Wagyu at home, okay? Thank you so much, Kimio. I'm so excited to be here today and to share my recipes that I love to cook at home. A lot of Asawa customers have asked about gyodon, how to cook it and what cut of beef is best to use. So today I will like to show you my favourite way of cooking gyodon at home. So what is gyodon? It's a Japanese dish which translates to beef bowl. So what it is, it's a bowl of rice topped with beef and onions which is simmered in a slightly sweet sauce uh, which involves some mirin, sake, soy sauce and some sugar. So this dish is incredibly tasty and very simple to make at home. It's perfect for a midweek dinner or if you really want to you could impress your friends and all you need to do is add on a gooey onsen egg on top. And I know that sounds really difficult but don't be afraid, I've been experimenting with different methods to cook this in your own kitchen. So let me show you how to do that. So to begin, I bring a litre of water to the boil. To speed up the process, I like to boil some water in the kettle first. This is perfect for impatient people like myself. Once the water boils, turn off the heat and add 200 ml of tap water. Remember to take this off the heat so it doesn't continue cooking. Now carefully add 4 free range eggs into the pot. For this recipe, I've been using extra large eggs. You can get a tray of 12 eggs being 700 grams from your local supermarket. Now set your timer to 17 minutes. So while you wait for that to boil, you can start prepping your ingredients. Slice up the spring onions and the brown onion. Now for the sauce, you can mix together your sake, mirin, soy sauce and sugar. And give that a good mix and stir. Once the timer goes off, carefully take out the eggs and let them rest on a plate. Okay, now let's move on to cooking the rest of the ingredients. Heat up a tablespoon of oil and add in your onions and let them saute. Now pour in the sauce and let that simmer on low heat. In the meantime, I've been cooking some rice in a rice cooker. I didn't have any Japanese rice at home, so I just used jasmine rice. But feel free to use whatever rice you like eating or simply have on hand. Now spoon your cooked rice into some bowls. I like to shape them into cute little domes for presentation. Once the onions are cooked and have softened, add them on top of your rice. So I like to cook my wagyu on both sides for a total of about 10 to 15 seconds as I prefer them be a bit more medium rare. So once this is cooked, add the wagyu slices on top of the onions. If you don't like your wagyu too rare, you can always cook them for a little bit longer. This bit is totally up to you. So now top your bowl off with some spring onions. Carefully crack open your egg into a bowl, but be very careful not to pierce the egg. I've done this so many times before. But luckily, we have four eggs to play with. Top this on top of your bowl. Sprinkle on your furikake seasoning and spoon on some of your remaining sauce. And there you have it, your very own gyodan at home.
Okay, so it's done. It was so quick. Yeah, really quick and simple. Yeah. Just it takes only like five minutes to cook. Yeah, most of the work is done in the egg, but you can always put that on the stove and just leave it to rest. Yeah. Shall we taste? Yes, yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. Do you know this is called the onsen egg? Onsen means hot spring. And the uh, egg is sort of a half uh, cooked. This is really Japanese style. And especially when you eat an uh, egg, must be pasteurized. My country in Japan, we always eat raw egg, but in Australia, make sure we pasteurize egg, okay? Now the taste. Mm. Pretty dry. So my wagyu is a little bit more cooked compared to Kimio's, which is medium rare. Mm -hmm. So you can cook it too whatever style you're comfortable with. And even the plating of the bowl, you don't have to plate it fancy with how I did it. Just dump it on a bit of rice and you're good to go. How is it? Good, good. Is the sauce seasoned well? Yeah, very sweet and really good combination with the rice. Mm. With this sweet uh, gyudon sauce with the rice, They're really good. Gyudon is something really simple. So you can try, if you buy wagyu slice, you can cook like a, like a five minutes to cook it. You don't need to make something fancy, but uh, it's so easy to make, okay? If you buy half kilo of wagyu slice, you can enjoy with all your family. So it's gonna be very inexpensive. Please try one day. All right, thank you for today, and uh, thank you Fiona, and uh, show us an uh, exciting gyudon in thank your you. way. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. I've had so much fun today. Make sure subscribe YouTube channel and please follow us, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.